In this video, we will create the clip pass transition from one page to another. And we'll reveal the incoming page from the middle of the screen. We will use the CSS clip path animation or transition to reveal it like this. But if you've been following all the other tutorials, then you know we need to do a few things inside of the clip HTML. And I'm challenging you, just pause the video, do the HTML tweaks to this page. So we are able to use Barbara on this page. Okay, so we will use the clip CSS file to do the animation. So again, play with your own style. And then we'll need to add one more transition that we will only use when we go to the clip page. Okay, so based on what you've learned so far, you can take the code and actually try it on your own. And then we'll do it together step by step in the rest of this video. Alrighty, so let's firstly tweak the HTML in the clip.html. We know we need to wrap everything in Barba wrapper. So let's put that on the body and then we need the container and the namespace if we want to have a special transition just to this page. We will give the namespace name clip and then you know it generates the right classes if we add the right transition. So let's duplicate the fade and change it to clip. Now we are running this transition when we are going to the clip page. Same thing for the enter and leave. And inside of the clip CSS, we can copy the styles from the fade transition. We of course need to change the name of this transition to clip. And now we are ready to reuse the same transition just for the clip page. Of course, we will change this to use the clip path animation. But for now, just to make sure that the structure of the page is correct, we can test it in a browser and we should see the same fade in transition between the fade and clip pages. Okay, so click on the link and we are fading into the next page. Okay, so the animation is exactly the same. We could simply add the next namespace into the array, but because we will want to change the animation style, we've created a separate file for it. So let's do the clip path animation now. If we look at the final demo, you'll see that we have during the transition, both existing page and the new one coming into the view, we have them both at the same time in the DOM. Okay, so for the clip path to be able to clip the incoming page from the middle and then reveal it, for that animation to work, we need to have both pages or both containers on the page. And if you look at the fading transition that we worked on before, we are fading the current page out, then it's removed from the DOM and the new page comes to the DOM and is faded in. So we will, we don't have the two containers in the DOM at the same time, but for our clip path animation, we need that. And for that, there is a handy feature of transitions of handy feature of Barba that we can add to our transition and that is sync true. If we add sync true to our transition, the enter and leave will happen at the same time, which means that both elements will be at the same time in the DOM. And then we can use the CSS classes to animate them how we want to. For now, let's go and add a before enter hook. And again, we'll add some console log just to pause the element or pause the transition at the right time. Just so you can see that we have two elements on the page. Let's go to source, refresh it. Oops, make sure we pause it inside a before enter. Go to the fade page. And if I click on clip path, before enter happens, before anything happens. Okay, so we're not fading this in and then removing it and fading the new page in. Both of these leave and enter with the sync true are happening at the same time. And if we go to the DOM, we'll see that there are two header elements on the page, two containers. And for that, that's exactly what we need for the clip path animation to work. This is the old page with the barba namespace fate. 
and the new page with the namespace clip. Okay, now we can position the new page coming into the view, position absolute, we changed it to position absolute, and we will reveal it from the middle that will cover the old page. And after that, the old page is removed from the DOM and the header becomes the new page. Okay, so we only want to change the positioning it positioning of the header incoming for the duration of the transition, then we'll remove the position absolute and it will come it will become a page like before. Okay, so let's go back to the style sheet and tweak the animation. Let's go back to the clip style sheet. We'll remove all the opacities and firstly we'll define the starting point which would be clip path zero or circle with a radius of zero that will completely cover and clip the whole incoming page. Then we want to finish when the clip path will be 75% that will scale it up to cover the whole full screen revealing the incoming page. So that's the ending state and the transition itself. Let's remove the opacity and make it all for both. And we also increase the duration to 0 0.75. Okay, so it will take a little bit longer. That's the transition and that's the ending state. Let's move this clip path we have to move it to the enter. We only want to clip the incoming page, so not the one leaving. So we have to have it on the enter, clip enter. And we can also animate the leaving page from opacity zero or opacity one to opacity zero. So we want to fade out the page that is leaving as well. So that is the page leaving. We're animating the opacity. That's the page coming in and we're using the clip path animation. Okay, so if we save this and view it in a browser, we should see the clip path animation and we only see the fade animation. Let's click again, we'll see only the fade. Okay, because we forgot to set the incoming page to be position absolute. So the page coming in needs to be position absolute and sit on top of the page, the current page, for us to be able to see the clipping animation. So let's edit. Now we have it position absolute on top of the previous page with Z index 2. And now when we refresh the page, click on a clip path, we should see the page. Let's go to open the animation tab as well, hit the escape and set it to 10%. So we're slowing down the animation. And now we see the page revealing. That's the clip path from zero to the 75%. And if I do it again, we'll see the two headers in the DOM at the same time. That's a handy way to slow down your CSS animations if you're working with Barba and CSS then you can set it to 10% just to see exactly what's happening. So we've got, we've got two headers on the page, the outgoing page is fading out and the new page is revealed from the middle. How cool is that? Now let's recap what we've done in this video. Firstly, we've added the right Barba container and Barba wrapper to the clip HTML, set the namespace to be clip. Then inside of the app.js, we've created a new transition we are calling it clip. We've turned on the sync to be able to see both the next and current containers on the page. So we've set it to true. We are only using this if we go to the clip namespace, using the leave and enter hooks to generate the classes. And we've added this before enter just to be able to pause the animation so we can remove it. And then inside of the style sheet, we've used two sets of classes. The first one animates, fades out the page leaving from opacity one to opacity zero and the entering page is being clipped to zero from the start of the animation. Then we are transitioning the clip path to the 75% that reveals the page at the end of the transition. Okay, so hope that makes sense how we've created this 
cool clip path animation. And I'll see you in the next video.